Okay, some people say I live in the middle of nowhere where we have no culture and no class, but we got a big arrowhead in town. Decorated in standard Christian Christmas decor because Indians were very Christian, I guess. Let's uh, move in on the sign, see if we can read it. So, we've established that we have culture. Okay, we've also got entertainment. In case you want to get your rock on on a Friday, let's take a look here and see what we got. Uh, Old Fort Mountain Music. Uh, anybody over 110 can come down here with their banjo on Friday and you can get your rock on. As you can see, our entertainment options are endless. If you don't want to take Thelma Lou up to Mount Pilot, you could always bring her, that's right, to the Playland. Because we got a lot of stuff going on in this town. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I've proved culture, I've proved the entertainment, but what about the jobs? Is there any jobs? Well, there is. You can, uh, you can make yarn. That's always, uh, a good paying job. Um, you could make couches. I don't recommend it. But if you pay your dues, <clears throat> work hard, and get ahead, someday you could have a job at the Family Dollar. Not a bad gig. But you're asking yourself, what kind of house can I afford in Old Fort working at the Family Dollar? Let's take a look. Well, <clears throat> you could live in a haunted house. Uh, geez, that place makes it rain outside. Well, here's a second floor charmer. Uh, reasonably priced, let's see. Hey, you can pick this baby up on Monday and Wednesday for just 99 cents. So, if you saved up for two months, you could get the down deposit on this place. This one's a real beaut. Let's take a look. Uh, I could never afford that. You know what? This one's alright. If you could uh, score one of them high-end jobs at the, uh, at the yarn plant, you could be living in this beauty. I know what you're thinking. Not everybody's got fat money to live in those high-end cribs. Well, hey, we got a place for everybody. The street name also makes the man. Some people like to live on Rodeo Drive and fancy places. Let's see. Ah. Shantytown. Well, that explains a few things. Okay. We got uh, culture, we got entertainment, we got good jobs, affordable housing. What about the scenery? Well, this is a nice place. We got water that shoots straight up in the air. Not too bad, eh? It's a close-up of water shooting straight up into the air. We also have the original Lincoln Memorial. Right here, as you can see, uh, due to bad decision-making, uh, Mr. Lincoln was beat with a sledgehammer, smashed, and thrown in the river. Okay, after talking with Bill McDowell up there on the train tracks, Bill told me that I needed to have the spirit of Jesus so that's my next thing I tried the true holiness fellowship but that didn't work because of one simple reason while it gave me the feeling of Jesus it also gave me the fear What's the car? it gave me the, the fear of Jesus because the feeling of Jesus and the fear are on the same street so I had to look someplace else Well, Bill told me to find 
the uh, spirit of Jesus. So I looked here, but uh, but I didn't find the spirit. I looked in there, but no spirit was there. So with tears in my eyes, I went looking to find the spirit. Well, I had listened to Bill tell me to find the true spirit. And I was out in search of the spirit when I found this place. Biblical Solutions for Life. I knew I was getting closer in my quest for finding the spirit. We weren't going to be far off now. Well, I looked and looked, and Bill was finally right. I had finally found the spirit. Hey, Jim, what are you doing here? Son, I've already found it. You What's found there? the spirit? Yes, son. Daddy's on top of it. Bill was right. The spirit had been found. <laughs> what are you doing here? And now I have religious sanctimony in my life. I can't believe you already found the spirits before me. Oh, yes. Well, as you might imagine, the search for the Spirit and Jesus made me quite hungry. Which brings me to my next question. For you, where's fine dining in your town? Well, let's take a look. We have Stucky's, which also doubles as a gas station. That's a nice place to bring a date. Not really. Um, <clears throat> we've got this restaurant here, which, uh... Also doubles up as a gas station. Uh, here's a new twist. We got a gas station that doubles as a restaurant. Also see Santa Claus, store your stuff, or have a taco salad. Fine dining abounds in the town of Old Fort, North Carolina. I know what you're thinking. Does every restaurant be a gas station or vice versa? Not necessarily. You could come and eat here. This place is pretty hip. Let's see. It's just a plain old double wide trailer with apparently lots of hungry customers. This place looks tasty. Although it's hard to find it, it's on wheels and it's always moving. After getting your chow down on, don't forget we also have world class shopping. You can get night crawlers. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I'm bringing my girlfriend with me and she wants to go shopping for stuff. Well, you could get her a pair of boots. This store that sells boots, you guessed it, also doubles up as a gas station. You're thinking, yeah, but my chick needs more variety. Have you got some like Nemus Markets or Saks or something? Well, kinda. Let's see what we got here. You can get all, uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. This place has got everything for the girl who has everything. That's a nice place to shop. Although, leave your credit cards at home, I don't believe they accept them here. So, if you're looking for world-class gambling, or Mad Mama's Mud Sling, a hotel to stay in, So, whether you're looking for a place to go on vacation or a place to move the whole family, Old Fort North Carolina truly has it all. This ends part one of our 26-part documentary on the town of Old Fort. This movie was not approved by the Old Fort Chamber of Commerce, the meth makers, prostitutes, or rednecks of this community and their surrounding communities.